you are welcome back to our training and in our previous video we learned how to design or create English subject list and in this video we are going to continue with the creation of the subject list or subject sheet and uh, I've added some colors to uh, the sheet to make it look nice and attractive so I, I, I told you or I gave you an assignment to do so so please try and always add colors to your uh, sheet to make it look nice and attractive now in this video you are going to add formulas you are going to add uh, uh, functions to our design or to our sheet now we are going to start with something called referencing you see uh, when you go to the student information list let's go back to student information list. the name the id the name and the class is the same thing that should come here because if you are entering the first person the id the student id should be the same in the class you see okay i think we, there is something we should need to do here we need to to merge this area to to this side so that uh, when we start the input from this side so let me let me or let me let me set okay I, I, it's better and merge it so let me merge it so that it will not cause anything okay because we don't need this area to be separated from emergency center So as I was saying, we want that part, that part which the ID and the same thing to appear here. So anytime you enter an ID here, you enter a name here, you enter a class here, automatically it should come here. So we are going to do something called referencing. So now we are going to start with the ID. So we click on equal to making reference. So after you click the equal to, you go back to your student information list, then you click on the first id that is the one you click on it then hit enter the id is there sorry so i think that the color is not good so we need to change the color the font color to black good this one will be nice you see so we now have the id for the uh, uh, first person here so at the moment Let's try to delete it and see what will happen. Let's go back to the <coughs> sheet. You see, there's nothing here, it's zero. But the moment you enter the value there, anything that you enter here will, will be reflected at the side. Now, because it is wanted to be the same for these two columns or these two cells, we are going to do a, we are going to do something called autofill. So after you have done you you place your mouse at the small square here so make sure your mouse cursor change to this form the plus form then you left click and drag across and you drag to the uh, right side to the end of the class then you leave it it will, it will autofill for you so every information that is found here has been placed there then we want everything to be for all the other person other people here so you see another auto fold here so you keep you, you place your mouse pointer at this end either you double click because this is the first thing you, you you click and you also drag to the last person and you leave it it will to fail for you so the second person's name is here also now let's move forward now we are going to enter functions a uh, formula here so before we go to the formula the formula is a little bit simple so let's do something called data validation when talk of data validation it means that we are going to validate the cells where you are going to enter values We're going to validate it to a, to a, to a, to a, a standard or to a, a level that any uh, any uh, value that we enter that we have not prescribed who reject it so let's say this side we need 
from 0 to 10 you don't need any value above 10 so if you enter 11 and you hit enter it should reject it that it is above the required number so this is how we do it you go to data on the uh, sorry it's not I think it's not data okay let me see okay it's data sorry it's data so we need to go to data you click on the uh, data tab then you go to this side you see validation data validation then but you need to select the cell that you want to validate then you click on data validation then you click on data validation again then the dialog box will appear now we have three types here we have settings we have input message we have error so with the settings we are going to set it to the value that we want to enter the first one is uh, what value are you allowing are you allowing whole numbers decimal we are allowing whole numbers so you click on whole numbers then the data it should be between then the lowest one is what one if you if you want to start from zero let's start from zero zero and the maximum is ten that is the number that you should enter that from zero to ten then the input message is the message that you will see when you place the mouse pointer on that uh, cell that's the message that you see we don't need that we don't need that so we, we can ignore that but you can still add it give it a title and the message that you want to appear when you place the mouse pointer there then you go to uh alerts alert that is uh, when you enter the value that is above the uh, uh, the number you have, you have prescribed the settings it will alert you so you can select warning for the warning it will it will still allow you to enter values but i i always like you to, or i always advise you to select stop so we stop unless you enter the the range you will not be allowed to enter any other value so the stop you select stop then the title the title should be error error or you can see error message then the message should be uh, input or enter values between as you can use your own words between 0 and 10 you can use your own words then after you have entered the the, the the message you will click on ok now the data at the server data now let's try to let's try it we have if enter, let's enter 12 you see the the error message say enter values between 0 and 10 so you will try and enter let's say 2 it will accept it now we want the whole cells here to be validated so because you have I've done this I've done for this side we do something called autofill so you, you drag it to the side then you leave it then you autofill downwards to the last person then you leave it now you can select any of the cells and try to see whether all the cells have been updated so let's try add any number here you see everything has been validated so the whole cells here Data. So unless you enter Zalo to 10, you're not move, allowed to move forward. So you, can, you are going to do the same thing for this side, then the same thing for this area too. So I don't want the video to be long. So for the 20, you use 0 to 20 for the same method that we used here. Okay, let me try and use the 20. So data validation, then you click on validation, then the message is here. So let's enter the message there. there the title is error then the message is uh, input or enter use enter value values between between zero 
and 20 then you go back to your settings and select the values so all numbers then the range should maximum minimum is zero and the maximum is 20 then you click on okay good so since here is 20 you, you should auto fold to the right side by you auto fold downwards to the last person here then you leave it so i'll leave you i don't want the video to be long so i'll leave you here so that you continue with the 10 you will, will do the uh, validation for the 10 column here and the 5 column here not for the 40 not for the 20 but for the 10 here and the, this 10 here then you do you do one also for a five that's zero to five okay thank you and see you in our next video bye bye